Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how to use the automatic coding tool, auto coding. Code, auto coding. Uh, first of all, let me tell you uh, what this is about. Auto coding is a tool that will allow you to um, uh, code automatically in the sense that you tell Atlas TI look for the following words and uh, when you find any of these words select the segment of the text in which the word is found and then uh, uh, connect to that segment the following code and Atlas TI will proceed to do that for you. So the first thing you need to do is to determine the code uh, with which you are going to do this. Uh, so uh, you have to select in your list of codes. So if you want to use a code that you already have, well, then that's fine. The, the code will be in the list. But if you want to create a code, especially for this automatic coding process, you would, you would have to do that beforehand by going to the plus here, new code, and write down the code name, let's say X. And then you go to the to the to the code list inside of the auto coding dialog and look for the code that you created. Well, in this case I am not going to use X, but instead I will use illness. Now I have to specify the words that I want to look for. So let me select, uh, let me write down the word illness, and now I will enter the pipe sign, which is the vertical line located on the same key as the backslash, so it's a shift backslash, and pipe means or, ill or illness, uh, with an asterisk because it could be illnesses. So it's it's a wild card. It adds other other uh, or or it it will capture a, a word that starts with illness but continues with something else. Illness says, for example, uh, shift backslash, which is pipe uh, disease with an asterisk because it could be diseases. Uh, pipe again, hospital if it's hospitalization with an asterisk, asterisk or hospitalized. Let me see, infection, infection, infectious, could be infectious, right? So let me say uh, an asterisk there. Um, and the final one, I'm going to look for Medicaid, could be medication, medicated, um, uh, medicating. So let's keep it, keep it like that. Matching, let's select grep. Grep means that it, it will... Um, use in the search the symbols that I inserted into the search expression. That is, it's going to use the asterisk as well as the pipe sign. Now, there is a table with symbols and those symbols uh, specify uh, conditions that will make this uh, search more precise. And the table is found on the manual and on the description of this video tutorial I will tell you uh, where in the manual you can find uh, that table. Uh, now I have to determine how much text do I want to select. So let me say exact match for now. Below I have to determine whether I want to do this in one single document, the one that is loaded uh, on all documents of the project or in a specific group of documents. You see the importance of having good uh, document groups. I will select uh, this single document for now. I will I will start, let me see here, uh, I will start and look at that, found ill uh, and why not illnesses if the entire word is illnesses? Well because I selected exact match and one of the terms that I enter into the search expression is precisely, precisely ill. I will select now word and now it selected uh, illnesses. Line, line applies to uh, PDF documents rather than uh, word. So in this case it selects entire paragraph 
the sentence, the paragraph, the document. Now I will select all documents and I will select the paragraph. And let's start. It found something and now it's my decision whether or not I code it or do not code it. If I do not code it, I click Next. If I code it, I click Code. Next. Let's say I will code it. Next. Code it. And now I will ask Atlas DI not to ask me anymore and to do this in a fully automatic way. Uh, and for that, I click Code All. And let's see what happens. Now, illness has 27 quotations. So that was done automatically. And of course, you have to determine uh, under what circumstances you would do this automatic coding. Uh, because uh, there must be a reason to do that, right? Of course, if you have a lot of documents, it may, it may make sense. But there could be other reasons as well. So that's something that you have to determine. So with that, I want to finalize this, uh, this automatic uh, coding uh, uh, or this video on automatic coding. And thank you very much.